purple rain, purple rain, what you know about that purple rain? Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another so so production. It's Monday, October 25th, 2021. Holy crap, where's the time going? It's almost Halloween, y'all. Holy smokes, it's whizzing right by. Don't blink, it's gone. It's 2021's coming to a wrap very quick. Hope you guys have had a great weekend wherever you are in and around this beautiful planet we call home, aka the Blue Marble. What y'all been up to? You guys been just hanging low, doing a fam jam, doing a little sesh with the crew, keeping things litty on the DL, do it. Hopefully we get to see each other soon. Things are moving slowly, but hey man, look at the bright side. It's moving very little by little it's moving but it's moving nonetheless that's what it is man look at the glass half full that's what i'm telling myself but i'm not gonna tell you i'm not gonna lie man left you know left friday feeling all right about the show but then you go back and visit the tapes because you got to go back and revisit the tapes baby because you want to keep improving do it better each and every time that you come in right sit in there feeling all right about it I'm like, all right, you put in a couple of jokes about the poaching, about the poaching and the elephants and the tusks. Let's go review it, see what happens. Sit down, watch the show five times. I said pouching instead of poaching. And when you say something, but you want it to sound silly and you put the emphasis on the silly and you mean it, that's all right. But when you don't mean to say it in a silly way and you just keep on mispronouncing the damn word, Oh, kept me up all night Friday evening, kept me up all night Saturday evening because I was just like, get over it. But it's all right, get over it. It's one little thing. Nobody's even going to notice. Well, I noticed and it drove me insane. I'm just cussing myself trying to get some sleep, but I couldn't toss and turn and toss and turn and turn and toss. And dude, I got up. I went under the bed, dude. I went under the bed for like five, ten minutes, just laid. And I'm like, you don't deserve to sleep on the bed tonight, dude. You're going off under the bed. I went into the closet, slept in a closet for half an hour, went back to the bathroom. Like you're gonna hang in here until you grasp the idea that what do you do? You wrote it down. You wrote it. Now, mind you, I'm no poaching ex, but now if I step into the kitchen, sure, I'll poach you a damn egg if I got to. If I got to, I'll poach a damn egg, dude. I'll I'll cook that thing without a shell. You know what I'm saying? I'll do it. I'll do it, big daddy. I'll do it, big mama. But point is, I'm no poaching expert, I'm not there with the snipes doing these activities, I'm not familiar with it, but that's the thing, you read about it, and it's not something new to you anyway, and you wrote it down, not once, not twice, not literally like five fucking times, you said pouching, yeah. don't do it, things happen, you roll with it, you try to do it better each and every time, but that's what it is, man, I was just like, oh, next time? Okay. Poaching. Unless we're talking pouches, though. Unless we're talking kangaroo biz. We're talking pouches. We're talking a little bit of that, you know. Corner Street. You know. We're talking about a seamstress or a seamster. Making a little pocket pouch for your little vest so you can put your little handkerchief or your little, you know, your little pocket watch because you're still living in 19 fucking 21 with the pocket watch but you're vintage you're fucking you're vintage daddy not only are you vintage you're retro you're retro vintage you're fucking going back your steampunk your steampunk retrofitted vintage steam you're punking it you're fucking with the pouch you're unique is what i'm trying to tell you unless you're fucking pouching shit unless you're sliding dossiers on envelopes into pouches and just you know yeah, we'll talk about that, but past weekend it was all about the poachers and the fucking tusks and the elephants with the tuskless elephants. But well, it's all right, it's okay. You learn from it. People probably don't even notice. They probably tell you, "Can you read?" Really? Dead serious, dog. Fucking poaching is dead serious business. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But anyways, dudes. Anyways, ladies. Up and at them. We're up and at them. Fucking moving, baby. Choo choo choo. Fucking chew forward. This train's gonna be moving. Fucking chugga 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 moving forward. To picking up steam. Who's that on the fucking railroad? Get off the railroad. You're on the 
real to you. We're gonna come on, get with it, get with it. Mmm, beat myself up for that one. Lost near one and a half, almost two nights of sleep over that, but happens, and that's how you learn. That's how you, that's how you learn from your you learn from your mistakes. You never repeat the same mistakes. Well, I'm trying to tell myself, man, move forward. That's what it is. And then this morning, this morning, if you're watching the show right now, this doesn't happen too often. As a matter of fact, this is probably maybe the second time in all of the time spent that we've been doing this over a year now. Shot an hour long video for you guys out there, but at the end, uh, something was just off. Something was just like, and I don't do reshoots. I don't like to stop. When I start, I just go, baby. I just fucking go. Because once this thing gets going, then whatever this is, once it gets going, there's no stopping it until the job's finished, until it's finito, unless it's the last sayonara. You feel me, daddy? You feel me, big mama? That's what it was, man. But did an hour long shoot, went there. You got, you got to take the time. Now get it off the camera, put it onto the phone, from the phone onto the laptop, start editing halfway through. You're like, Something about this video is just not sitting right. Got to do it all over again. Scrap it. And that's the point where you're just like, ah, oh, you want to get things off onto a good foot. You want to get a good start to the week. That's what it is. You're not going to miss out on a goddamn day. I'll tell you that. There's no fucking way we're going to miss a day. Unless it's like an absolute must. I think we've overall we've missed maybe one tops, maybe like two days up in this bitch too. Because we'll fucking keep it consistent, daddy. We're that... We're, we're, we're consistent. In terms of consistency, it's we're right up there with the most consistent of whether it's substances, we're consistent, whether it's a product, consistent, whether it's service, we're fucking coming through each and every week. Each and every week we're here. Dropping the heat, daddy, you know what I'm talking about, that sriracha, get it. You like these videos, go ahead and hit those like buttons on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, search Rob Sadri for the full length videos. And if you're already watching on the YouTubes, come back over here on the Instagrams. Follow. You want to get a little bit, you got a little bit of that hand me down. You know, your grandparents, you know, the great grandparents, maybe they're, they're, they passed away. They're on the verge of passing away. They're putting you down on the wheel. They've got to put a couple of hundred millis under your name. You slide a nice, you, you feel a little bit. You know, you feel that philanthropy just like oozing through. You're like, oh, Mr. or Mrs. Moneybags. I just feel like, you know, opposite of Scrooge McDuck today. You want to fucking get fiscal with it? Get rid of just drop a nice cool million into the Patreon, baby. Or I'll leave it up to you. A thou, a cool G note, or a C note, or whatever else you like. There's options. Far, you know, there's so many options. That's what I'm telling you, baby. This is, we're not just like, this year is not like, Pepsi and Coke, daddy. This is fucking, we'll give you that. We'll give you that. You know. We'll give you, uh, we'll give you a taste of that Fanta that's not Fanta because it's made in probably some part of the other. You know, it's made in these. We're, we're, we're combining ingredients is what I'm trying to tell you. We're that off the label. On, we're, we're that, we're that, we're like that moonshine that your great granddad used to make, daddy. We're like the, it'll get you. It's, you know, it's. 80 proof at this point, that's what this is. It's fucking 80 proof is what I'm trying to tell you. So get it while it's hot and it'll only get hotter. So, you know, that's the thing. It's careful, don't burn yourself. That's what I'm telling you. Papa had a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of the, whether you want to call it technical difficulties or literal difficulties, it was difficult sitches, baby. Difficult sitches, but that's what we do. You think we get you think we'll stop? You think daddy's gonna stop just because of a little mispronunciation of a word or a little bit of a video that didn't sit right with him? <sighs> Please, we'll make another one and another one. We're like the we're like the DJ Khaled of podcasts. What? Another one each and every week, dropping it. Baby boy, baby girl. What's been going down in the world, man? I've been hearing kids are, kids, teenage girls are getting ticks apparently from doing the Tic Tac videos. <laughs> They're getting Tourette-like syndromes, baby. They're getting that Twitch is coming in strong. 
not surprised after all this time watching these videos and all these kids are like oh, I'm gonna become a millionaire while tic tac and on the tic tacs fucking gyrating I'm the best gyrating champion in the whole world I'm 14 and gyrating my way to the top of this game fucking gyrating gyrating oh 15 year old gyrator has made millions gyrating on tic tac more power to you baby more power to you keep doing it Keep doing it. Get those seizures. We, you, somebody's got to get it. Somebody's got to get a Tourette's. Somebody's got to come in there with a nice little fucking angry tick at 14. Get a nice tick in your eye, baby. Fucking twitch. Oh, I want to see. I want to see Generation Z and Alpha get into the workforce, baby. Short attention spans. Fucking ticks all over the place. Everybody's up on their feelings. And each generation is just like getting, you know. More ticks, more anxiety, more it's going to be the best of times, baby. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be the best of times. Everybody's going to be on uh, sick leave and everybody for sure, which is nice. It's the great equalizer. Everybody will have some sort of a disorder, which is fantastic. Or not. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe it all works out for the best. Maybe we'll fucking gyrate our way to, you know, negotiating galactical peace amongst our species and Others were sending signals through the airwaves. What are the signals coming through the airwaves? Who's out there? Seriously. But I'm not concerned, man. I'm not concerned because this guy fucking glass all the way up. All the way up. I'll empty it out and I'll fill it back up, baby. That's what I'll do with a glass of water. One for me, one for the homies, one for the teammates, one for the gang. You know what it is. Quench your thirst. I'll get in there, man. But yeah, kids are twitching. What else has been going on, man? What else has been going on? I've been reading. I've been reading a question out there for you guys. Ladies, fellas, scientists, non-scientists, humans, aliens, animals, human-animal hybrids. Fucking, if you're walking around with a damn fucking baboon heart, I'm talking to you, daddy. If you're walking around with two eyes, I'm talking to you. If you got, damn it, if you got one eye, I'm still talking about you. This ain't no fucking ableist podcast, baby. All you need is a pair of ears. You don't got ears? Get bionic ones. Listen up. What's going on? What's going on with... Got a question for you guys. Just you know, just a little teeny tiny concern. This is uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not the type that's concerned most of the time. I'm a little bit concerned, just as concerned as you are about you know this, that, and the other. But like, is I'm trying to figure out is fluoride in the water good for you? Is it good for you or bad for you? What is it? Because I was reading, if I'm not mistaken, a place in BC is getting fluoride added to their water. They haven't had it. The pros, they say, is that it'll help you not get cavities. The cons, I was online reading and I scared the shit out of myself. That's why I'm putting it out there on the internet. So maybe the internet can answer it correctly because I don't know, man. You read different things. Is it going to make the public more passive? Did the Nazis use it? Did the communists use fluoride? Is it a, is it, what kind of chemical is it? Is it a bad chemical or a good chemical? How much of it is safe? And it's like they say a certain level is safe, but if you go above a certain level, it's not so safe. And you're like, can you boil your water? Can you boil your water and get the fluoride out of water? Apparently, if you boil the water, you just take the concentration of water down. You bring up the concentration of fluoride in the water that you just boiled, so it's just more fluoride. So is it good for you? Is it bad for you? Do we get cancer in the long term? Do we get you know? Do does it affect bone density? Does it affect? Does it give you, you know, do, do, am I going to drink water, tap water all day, every day, and like when I'm 55, all of a sudden I'll be walking around with that arthritis, bro? You want to give me arthritis? You want to give me Arthur's rights, baby? Or what is it? If it's nothing, it's nothing, dude. I'm not going to like, you know, I'm not going to throw a fit unless we're all going to throw a fit. But that's the thing. When I looked at water, regular tap water, I just figured it's just H's, couple of twos, couple of O's in there, you know, H2's and O's. But apparently it's not the case. You're not just getting your H's, twos, and O's, baby. It's fucking, it's, it's in there with the flavors. It's Baskin Robbins with these waters out there, man. They got everything in there. This chemical, that chemical. Some of the chemicals are good for you. Some of the chemicals are bad for you. What's in the water? Now I'm not the type that'll freak out and go buy bottled water, dude. I'm staying away from bottled water at all times just because. I've known this from a long time, I'm sure a lot of you guys know this as well out there, that it's just tap water is what it is. But is tap water safe? 
That's all I'm trying to ask. That's all I'm just trying to put out there, dude. Is fluoride good for you or bad for you? Because the internet is very confusing. So is the world. But we'll make sense of it together. And this is coming from the guy that doesn't, you know, I just want to know what I'm consuming. You know, at the end of the day, if, if I know what I'm consuming and I know the risks versus the benefits, I'll fucking, I'll fucking smoke that water, baby. You roll that water up, I'll fucking smoke it, doggy. Don't get it twisted. Put that fucking H2 and O right in the joint. Fucking roll it up, puff, puff. Rejuvenate, you feel me? That's what that is. But asking questions, asking questions. Because back in the day, you used to be, you know, you, there are always some minerals. Wherever there's water, there's minerals. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just assuming. But, you know, because it's clear the damn things like, you know, uh, or are we, are we walking around getting like, Mass roofie, dude? Is this what's happened? Is this why there's no change? Is it the fluoride? Or no? Am I overthinking this? Maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's something. Who knows? Ask questions. Is it safe? Is the water safe? Okay. Good stuff. All right. Man, a lot of you guys probably heard. I heard it. You guys probably heard it. Not the best of news, but news, and it happened, and, oh, man, shots fired, shit, take cover, doggy, if you're on a movie set, take cover, daddy, nobody's checking these guns, man, rest in peace, <sighs> Alec Baldwin shot a lady, dude, on set, killed her, because the prop gun was a real gun, or the real gun that was supposed to have prop bullets had real bullets what didn't we learn our lesson from brandon lee dudes ladies isn't there like four or five people that are what are you guys doing walking around with guns all willing this is what happens and then you get the rhetoric you get the discourse now the guns kill people people collectively kill people it's i don't know what it is maybe it's negligence maybe it's lack of paying attention maybe it's just Tom Fuller I don't know what it is but whatever it is this is a it's my heart goes out first of all to the family of the individual that was shot and killed that's fucking horrible and then I also feel terrible for Alec Baldwin I don't know the dude watched some of his movies growing up obviously but that's got to be a very shitty circumstance to be in, dude. You just like you're going off to set one day, and I don't know the deeds. I don't know the, but the fact that it happened is beyond me, dude. Beyond me. I can't believe you just show up to work in this circumstance, and after this year, year and a half that we've all had, you go up to work, you show up doing your thing, and then you're fucking shot dead. What? How? Oh man, what are you guys doing? Get a little bit more, you know, that's the thing. I don't know what it takes. Maybe get a couple of damn melons. Shoot the fucking gun into the melons first. Shoot your damn foot first. Shoot into something. Oh, I don't know what it is. What's the protocol? Is there a protocol? You guys should be talking about this. You guys should have been talking about this way beforehand. I don't know why it happened, but it's happened. It's tragic. And let's not let it happen again. That's the only thing that we can do. And then who knows who's going to be accountable for what. It's a messy circumstance. My heart goes out to everybody involved, especially the family of the individual that was killed horrible accident but yeah i guess this type of stuff happens man negligence on work and on work settings you see it everywhere too you, know, you, you see it in you see it in construction you know you see it in everywhere you see it everywhere it's things falling on people things hitting people things oh you know, man the world's very just you know that's the thing man i'm just trying to it's one of those harsh reminders that life is so short and uncertain. So, you know, grasp it by the nads and just enjoy life and do your best and like go after whatever it is that you're going after. At the same time, don't, you know, I'm trying to tell this to myself. I also want to put it out there. Don't fret nothing, you guys. Ladies, don't fret nothing. Dude, sometimes we get up, we get caught up in so many different things. But at the end of it, you should have fun. You should just, you know. Do your best, have fun, relax, spend time with the people that you love and enjoy life because you never know when. That's just literally, that's that's so out of, you know, it's, it's so unpredictable. But at the same time, some people are like, maybe this is, you know, maybe that's, maybe it's not, maybe it's not so accidental. Maybe again, it's a collective thing, right? It's such a complicated scenario that's unraveled and it sucks. 
for everybody involved. I can't, uh, oh, my heart goes out to everybody. That's, that's very tragic. Moving on, moving on from the tragedy. It's just, uh, yeah, let's move on from that. What else has been going on, man? What else has been going on? It's, uh, you know, I hear that, if I'm not mistaken, a little bit of good news, a little bit of good news, a little bit of news that's good that could be maybe implemented a little bit sooner, but that will be implemented down the line. Hopefully, maybe it can be, maybe it can take place earlier rather than later. I heard that here in Ontario and Canada, I believe if I'm not mistaken, these types of things always change. Unfortunately, we've not had any solid answers for so long right now, but apparently on March 22nd or 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to be lifting all the Schmovid restrictions, which are the remaining ones, if I'm not mistaken, excuse me, are the mask mandates and the silly, nonsensical, redundant vaccine passports. I think that everything's getting lifted. That's five, six months from now. Hopefully it can be lifted earlier. What's the point of it all anymore? Like that's a lot of people as they put out in the news are vaccinated, whoever needs to be anyways. You should gone and gotten the vaccines or rather got the vaccines not gotten but uh here we are that's a little bit of i guess refreshing news um personally i was gonna like you know like many of you guys everybody's taking it super slow and all that jazz but we do want to be getting out there and you know getting out there socializing tickling each other's funny bones and what have you spitting each other's faces god damn it you know doing a little bit of that silly billy activity people miss people hopefully we can get back to it sooner rather than later and hopefully we can put it all behind us at one point because i believe it i see it everybody's just people are thirsty out there homie you feel me lady everybody's thirsty out there for that you know everybody wants to go out there and stretch those limbs properly when was the last time you went out there and just you know let loose properly been more than a year for most of us i know i've not let loose since the pandy dude i've not really done I've not been able to do much, but that's all right. We make do with what we got. We're very thankful and grateful for everything that we've got. And hopefully that's the thing we can all get out of this together. And, you know, maybe hopefully down the line, this won't happen again. So let's keep on asking those questions. Wuhan lab, what up with your bats, doggy? Are you manipulating mats with the bats with the fucking COVID and the coronavirus? And then what are you doing with the gain of function research down there? And who's funding it? And how do we prevent this from happening again? Let's continue asking those questions and or maybe that's why they don't want us to drink the fluoride water dude <laughs> love getting silly dudes ladies good times good times man almost killed myself yesterday i was getting ready to do a little bit of cooking and i just you know dropped a little something something fell behind the fridge and I had to get the fridge moving and it's like you know tucked in a neat little corner you know and it gave me a little bit of trouble because I was trying to move it and it wobbled a little bit doggy it wobbled a little bit and all of a sudden I'm like hey 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 watch yourself watch yourself all right now I'm down on my knees trying to reach under I'm you know I'm doing I'm giving it all the finger moves everything I know since I've been yeah now just trying to do my best you feel anything Nothing's coming. Story of my life. Talking about fridges. And it just wobbled, wobbled, and it just occurred to me. I could legit, this thing could wobble and follow me, and I could get killed, doggy. And nobody would notice for, like, weeks. I wonder how long it would take. And it'd be fucking embarrassing, dude. A little bit embarrassing, but at the same time, very comical, which I'm, I'll be pleased with. If I, when I, like, that's the thing, man. Stepping into storytelling and uh, as a wannabe comic, whenever the time comes that, you know, your boy's got to go up there and, you know, meet the big guy. I want to go out in a funny way. I want to go out in the funniest way. And although tragic, it would be kind of hilarious if I were to die with a fridge over me. And, you know, that's the thing. I'm not going to go out easy, bro. I'm not going to go out easy, dog. You think I want to go out easy? That fridge will, you know, it'll topple over, all, you know, just arms out, everything. I'm getting squished, can't move, but I'll fucking use my tongue, dude. I'll use my tongue and I'll open the freezer, dude. Tongue action, unwrap a couple of plastic bags, start getting that. You know, I got a couple of bagels in the freezer, dude. Start 
munching on a couple of bagels. Thirsty. It's all right. The ice is melting. Oh, all a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'll keep going for three, four, five weeks, dude. I don't know, but I'll keep it going until somebody one day, hopefully, somebody, dude. I don't know. Somebody will just, you know, burst open the door. Just come in just to check up on your boy and see he's down there. And I'll be on my last breath. Just, you know. Maybe that's the, that's all. Maybe it'll trap me, dude. Maybe it'll, as it's falling, the door, the like the fridge door will open and it'll just like enclose and like tip over so I can't get it open. Hilarious. And it's still plugged in, so it's really like, you know, temperatures are brisk. But I'll be fresh, dude. I'll tell you that. I'll straight up stay fresh in there. And after four or five weeks, you just... I'm that's actually convenient come to think of it that's actually kind of convenient dude with the tech and everything if you find me frozen keep your boy frozen don't thaw me out just yet all right I wouldn't mind just you know staying fresh for a couple of couple of months few months maybe a year or two let everything simmer down thaw me after you know, see come back it's 2020 let's get the Trump years out of the way too because you know what's going on and everything Let's push it off to 2024. He's going to get elected, probably, maybe. Who knows? 2029, 20, 2030, when the stock market will crash again like the 1930s. Who knows? I'm just saying. Hyper, you know, you know, super speculative here. Hyper, super speculative right now. Just speculating match it. Well, if that's the case, you guys, you got, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. You guys gauge the sitch. And I'll come back 2030, we'll fucking rock and roll, baby. We'll rock and roll. But if, it's, if times are litty, dude, if like next week, I'm five weeks from now, if things are litty, thaw me out, okay? Let's not waste any time. Thaw me out. But if it's like, if it's sliding down, 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 let daddy catch a couple of, you know, all, hey, who can't use a couple of hours of extra sleep? Who can't stay a little bit younger these days, right? Come back, start doing things. Just say, hella comical way to go out by a fucking, I guess the thing, maybe a fridge alone wouldn't be able to take me, but if it's like a fridge and then freak accident oven tips over as well for some odd reason, I don't know what's going on with this building, dude, but things happen. You never know. Maybe I wouldn't be able to push off one, you know, maybe if it's just a fridge, I'll be like, after a little while, I'll talk to myself mentally, prep myself, you're not going to go out like this. What about your family? What about your kids? And this is where I'd hope that, you know, in this five week time span that we've mentioned, I've been able to, you know, find a wife, get her pregnant, pop out a few babies. So that that's the motivation. I'm like, for your thought, for yourself, for the babies, you know? Just saying, dude, this is hard to like, you know, that's the thing. If it's, there's no, a lot of time, a lot of people be going just because no babies. A lot of times these babies, that's the thing we ask. We're like, what's well, keeping people down here? The babies. Maybe, dude, I don't know. Maybe, but if I'm also, if I'm also, like, if I also, like, sign up for, like, a first, like, a first automaton or a first, like, you know, little half bionic, half sentient, half fucking, like, robot, maybe that'll be, like, if I'm, if I'm on a mating list, if I'm, like, if I've, if I've subscribed, if I know it's coming in the mail, maybe the Amazon sending it over, maybe that'll keep me going, dude, I'll fucking... Oh, can't wait to get a couple of conversations going with that AI. Not going to miss out. No, it's not for you, for the AI. Who's going to keep the machines running? And that's the thing I'll say. Who's going to keep the machine? Keep the generator alive. I'll, I'll get motivated, doggy. Don't, don't, wor don't worry about your boy. I'll get motivated, daddy. I'll do it, lady. If you like these videos, if you like staying silly with it, if you like questioning things, if you like asking questions, random questions, like how fat can the earth get? I don't know, dude, maybe 8 billions, just all right. Maybe we're in that Goldilocks zone right now, but can I take 16 billy? Can I take 32 billy? If you like asking questions, you're like, how deep is space? Who's sending these signals? Is it just the case of us like yelling into the universe or the multiverse with the layers and is it just a case of us maybe stepping into a cave and saying hello, 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 hello. and then we're hearing it it's saying hello and we just keep on repeating having this conversation with ourselves maybe what kind of questions are you into whatever it is let's tackle them together 
hit the like buttons on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, subscribe so you get the full length videos and we're making shit happen, baby, each and every day. I love you guys. If you want to get fiscal with it, go to Patreon. I'll see y'all very soon. In the meantime, have fun. Stay safe. Peace out. Love y'all.